One of the members of the Joe CNC forum asked how to add dome-shaped tops to uh, letters. So I'm going to take a file that he provided and try and show you how it's done in Vetric Aspire. Now, we got the letter shapes that he brought in, which was um, this A. And the problem with this file is this irregular surface um, creasing at the intersections where the, the legs come together. Uh, and it's just not aesthetically pleasing. So if we look at his component that he created, we see that the component uh, set at two and a quarter inches high and um, that's really all that he's changed with it. So rather than mess around with, with his component, we uh, turn it off and we're going to create a new one using the same profile that he had. So to do that, I'd select the outline of the letter. And I'd come in here to the uh, Create Forms from Vector tool. If I select a round shape profile, the tops of the letters will be rounded. If I shape, uh, select the angular shape, they'll be pointed. And uh, they'll be flat on top if I select the bottom. So I'm going to start with the rounded form. And I'm going to set the height at two and a quarter inches, just like you said. And I'm going to limit the component to that height. If I hit the apply button, it creates something that looks just like what he had. Okay? Which is not what we want. Well, this slider here on this on the uh, side controls how the model transitions from vertical to horizontal. Right now it's set at 90 degrees, so it goes right up to the to the very um highest point that it can still reach the 225 as a total model and then it just bumps everything up and curved but if you drop that number down to zero you'll end up with a flat object if you come above that it gets progressively more rounded and you can play with that until you find um, a setting that's appropriate for what you're trying to do. Let's go with 40 um, degrees in this case and you can manipulate the base height so let's say you want the base height a little higher you could uh, set it at uh, one and a half and that would change the base height. Um, you could also change the limits like uh, by going to no limits it will try and do whatever it is you ask it to make the uh, numbers work or if you scale to the exact height it can only be exactly two and a quarter inch high regardless of what kind of irregular shape you have but I'm going to limit the height and I'm going to put it at around 40 doesn't have to be exact that gives us a rough starting shape and I hit apply and that's what the component will look like now if we're still not happy with it we can use the sculpting tools to smooth out the surface where the parts intersect And you could add or remove uh, material as well. In this particular one, you probably want to be careful about the edges. And that gives us a fairly organic looking dome shaped A. Um, might want to add a little material here. But very slight amount, lower the strength down, 
maybe do it one click at a time in this area. And then smooth it out. Once you're you're happy with the shape you've you've uh, created, you can decide to keep your changes. And there you go. I hope that helps. Thanks.